What's up guys and welcome back to another video right into my YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna basically tell you how to fix every kind of connection, server or network issue you're currently having with World of Tanks. So stick to the end guys, this will be a step-by-step -step tutorial and in the end you will probably know what to do in order to fix this kind of issue. Before we start right into the video, I just want to you guys know, let you guys know that, that I would really really appreciate it if you would just leave a like, a comment or a subscription right into my YouTube channel. It would really make my day and help me out as a little YouTuber as I am. Especially subscribing would be such a big support for me guys. You would support my work here on YouTube a little bit and I'm gonna really really thank you for that and I'm gonna thank you for that. So anyways, I would just say let's get right started. So the first step in order to fix this issue is gonna be to go to your keyboard and click the Windows and the R key at the same time. So once you click that, you should be able to see this little window popping up. Afterwards, type in CMD and hit enter. The next step is gonna be to type in what I'm gonna type in. So IP config space slash flush dns and hit enter once it is successfully flushed you should be able to end this task again and the next step is going to be to navigate to the bottom left corner of your screen opening up your settings navigate navigating right onto network and internet and sticking around or clicking onto network and sharing center what i want you to do here is going to be to navigate to the top left corner clicking onto the second link where it says change adapter settings and just stick on that stick on the top left corner and it's going to say either internet or ethernet it's going to just depend on which one you're using doesn't really matter just right click click on disable disable it wait a few seconds and enable it again the enabling process could take quite a few moments so just wait patiently until it's connected again and once it is connected you should be able to return back to your network and sharing center by just ending this task so let's wait and then return back and afterwards i want you to click on the blue, onto the blue printed text so again ethernet or internet again just click on that properties double click onto internet protocol version 4 enable use the following dns server addresses and on the top i want you to type in the google server address or four times eight and on the bottom so the alternate dns server two times four at two times eight afterwards click apply and okay that's it for the video guys i hope that i could actually help you out with this one if it was like that just leave a like a comment or a subscription i'm gonna really be thankful for that and i'm really sorry if i couldn't help you but i'm just gonna do my best in order to help you out either way i hope you guys have a wonderful day see you at the next one and bye